Hi, I'm Sam of Sweet Sincerely. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel where I will be sharing my art, tips, and tools, and more. Today I'll be showing you how I sketch a dog. I use this technique for all my live events, whether it's painting or drawing. So leave a comment, share, and like this video below and let me know how it goes. For this tutorial, you'll need a pencil and pen, paper, and an eraser. I'll be using my dog as a sample. I printed it out here next to me. You can use any dog you want. So let's begin. Step one. With your pencil for step one, we're going to draw a large circle. We're going to draw a large circle for the head. We're going to divide this circle in half. And then we're going to divide it in half again so that you have a cross inside the circle. For advanced drawers, you can actually draw two hoops inside the circle like so. Hoops and hoops. This will denote the tilt of the head upward and sideways. Then we will draw a smaller circle to denote the snout. And this is going to be the snout. Again, we're going to divide the snout into four with the cross. Next, I'm going to draw the eye first below the line, wherever your line is. So say this is your line. I like to use the edge of my pencil and to measure the eye. So say like the eye is roughly this much of your pencil. How many times do you see it used? So it's twice here. So the eye is two times in the center. So knowing that, as I say, this is the eye. If my eye is shaped this much, one, two. And then we're going to add just a little bit corner to the edges here. You see, we have little two little corners of the circle. So now that we have the eyes done, we're going to go for the snout next. The snout comes out just a little bit, unless you're it's a smush dog, so that the nose is like right against the eye. So as you can see, my dog, his nose comes out a little bit. So I know to keep the snout close to the eye. And wherever the uh, cross meets, we're going to create a rectangle. And next, we're going to add some curves. So most dog has like a little split in their snout. So the nose curves up just a little bit, like a little heart. Comes in, just create these little lumps at the top and connect, create like a little loop. Just create the heart. And this is the bottom of your snout. Most snout dog snout have a little point at the end of the bottom here. And that is your snout. And then we're going to add the tongue or the line of the mouth. I like dogs that have their tongue out, you know, tongue out Tuesday. It just makes the dog look like they're a lot happier. So this is kind of like the line where the hair under the snout is. So it's parallel. So you know roughly. My dog has a lot of hair, so it's kind of crazy. But you see there are actually lines here. So what you would do is where the eyes meet, you just draw some lines. Don't overthink this or, or it'll be too dark. We're going to add the ear. Typically it forms the triangle hitting the edge of the outer part of the eye and the snout. And typically, this is where the ears are. Dog's ears, they flop, so you can see it flops down this way. For this, I use a darker pen. You can use a marker. Again, I always start with the eye. For the nose, I like to do a crosshatch technique. 
just basically you draw a line one way and then you draw the other way so that the lines are crossing each other called a crosshatch. The nasal is darker so I keep the lines closer together. So wherever there's shadow, which is typically the bottom of the snout, I add a few more lines. And then you have the tongue and the middle of the tongue is split. And then you have the lip, bottom lip. Now the hair. Some dogs are darker than the other and you can still use a crosshatch for that. My dog is white and but you'll see that there's these dark spots and I'll show you how to do the dark shadows. First we're going to do the nose hair. So for a dog that's white, try not to use too much line. The more the lines, the darker the image will be. If we erase it, you can see it better too. So you can see here that the drawing with a pen or a marker is very flat, which, you know, is cute. I, I like it as is. But if you want to have some like darker tones in there for shadow to keep it some dimension, I use a slightly smaller pen nib or you can just tap lightly. So here you can see it's much thinner. My, my strokes are super light. I don't put any pressure. You can use a crosshatch technique here as well. I hope that helps. If you want to see another dog tutorial, comment below which dog you'd like to see me draw. And don't forget to like, share, and leave a comment if you tried out this tutorial. Thank you and see you again.